Lord, we thank you. We thank you for your church. We thank you, Lord, for creation. We thank you for everyone individually. From the child of the womb, we say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Father, we exalt your name. Lord, we exalt your name. Lord, we exalt your name. Come on, come on and give him the fruit of your lips. Jesus, I have come that I will meet with you. Jesus, I have come that I will meet with you. Jesus, I have come that I will meet with you. I go from Bella Cota. I came from Osaka, Panama. I come from the Copacabana. I can tell you, Shada, deliver it. That the blood of Jesus that purifies will speak over my life tonight. I go from the Copacabana. I can be the Cota, the Varada. I come from Pampa. Tokobalaha, Lakobe Sedeke Manaha, Akompa Rosha Dakaha, that I will not be a weakling, Akosekem Balato, Akompra Tokobalaha, come on, come on, build up capacity, Ale Kompa Sekebana Hosha, Leo the Pim tonight, Esiko Fanahat, Ekembra Tokobana Sekebanando Saha, Elakompra Tota Tata. Jesus, Jesus, uh, Jesus, Jesus, uh, Jesus, Jesus, uh, Son of David, uh, have mercy on me tonight. Uh, Jesus, Son of David, uh, have mercy upon me tonight. Echo parata compress of Kovarada, that you will look upon us by your mercy, that your glory will radiate in this place. Elephant Pakoda. Sagada, a copa rasa de bedebede, a compesse que ponta la bada, e 
if you're online, make sure you participate in her. Echo de Candeleto, Ale Comprato Copalaha, for Jesus is in your space. Echo Tombala Secabaha. We come, we come, we come, we come, we come. We lay every weight aside. We lay every burden aside. We come by the blood of the Lamb.
your name Jesus we bless your name King of glory thank you mighty God be thou exalted oh God hallelujah your hands together for the Lord as you move side by side praising Yahweh as we also pray unto him through the song tonight thank you Jesus God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, you are God. God of Abraham, God of Isaac.
Thank you, Jesus. Nothing but the blood of Jesus that can wash away our soul diseases. Nothing but the blood of Jesus that can cancel our debts, that can qualify us to enter into the Holy of Holy. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. By this blood we stand tonight. By this token of covenant of the blood of our redemption, we draw near to this, O oh God, table of communion tonight. Father, accept our worship, accept our pauses in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. We continue in this service right now. We are taking our hymn. God sent his son. They called him Jesus.
Because he holds our future in his hand, there is no fear of tomorrow. Because hope in him maketh not ashamed. I want you to tell yourself, my future is in Christ Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Thank you. You can have your seats. Of God, oh yeah. For he has done so very much for me. He has forgiven me all my all sins. All my sins. And sent the Holy Ghost to me. I love the man. I love him. Of God, he For he has done so very much for me. Very much for me, yeah, yeah. He has forgiven me all, all my sins, sins and, and sent the Holy Ghost to me. I, I love that man. man. I love that man. His name of Galilee, of Galilee, yeah. For he has done so very much for me, very much for me, yeah, yeah. He has forgiven me all my sins and sent the Holy Ghost to me. I love the name of Galilee. That is why. Exalt him, glorify him. Let's go ahead 
and acknowledge Jesus as the Lord over this house. As the head over this house. Acknowledge him, the King of kings, the Lord of lords. Acknowledge him, the Holy One of Israel. Acknowledge him, is the master of the universe. Acknowledge him, is the Prince of Peace. Acknowledge him, is the Lord of hosts. Jesus is Lord. He is Lord. Over Cape Town, Jesus is Lord. Over Evans Gate, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Celebrate the King of Glory over your situation, over your circumstances, over everything, your family. Let Jesus be exalted. Oh. Only Jesus is the reason for our gathering. Only Jesus is the reason for our gathering. I don't know other God. I don't know other God. Only Him, by Him we gather. By him we gather, by him we gather. By him we gather. Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. celebrate Jesus once again. Amen. Amen. Unto him shall all the flesh gather. As of Apostle chapter 2 verse 22, let's pray concerning what we believe. He said, whenever we gather, we gather in the name of the Lord. Not only that, we gather before the table to remember. It's always a time to remember what he did. The victory, the glory, the suffering, everything. As to 22, the glory, the suffering, everything, we remember and we stand. He said, men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth. A man attested by God to you, to you by miracles. Somebody say by miracles. By, miracles. by wonders by and by signs, which God did through him in your midst, as yourself know. Now, whether you believe in Jesus or not, whether you acknowledge him as your Lord and Savior or not, it is written. He's been attested to have manifested a miracle, signs, and wonders to people. Hello? Whether you believe it or not, but it is written that he was made to manifest, which was attested by God that he did miracle, signs, and wonders. So why do we need to remember him? Because it's the same yesterday. Ah, it's the same today. And it's the same forever. Hallelujah. So I want you to go before him and say, Jesus, I am here. Manifest yourself in miracles, in signs, and wonders. Go ahead and talk to God. We have exalted him. I said, no, no, I'm not coming here to see people. I'm here to be visited. To have an encounter with Jesus which was attested by God, not by man, by God, for miracles, signs, and wonders. I am not here to check whether he will do it. It was established. It was attested by God 
that this one, the same yesterday, the same today and forever, he will do it again. Jesus is Lord. I love Jesus. What he did yesterday, he will do it again. What he did for our forefathers in faith, he will do it. What he did for our fathers in the faith, he is able to do it. It's just for us to acknowledge and remember and be in alignment for what he is said to do. Open your mouth and agree. For without faith, it is impossible to please God. For without faith, it is impossible to please God. For whoever shall come unto him shall believe that he is. He is the one that is able to do miracles, signs, and wonders. He is that is able to quicken our mortal bodies. He is that is able to feed us. In Jesus' precious name, we are friends. We have come again. We have come again. Father, we have come again. Holy Ghost, come and take control. I have come again. Oh, yeah. I have come again, oh. Father, I have come again, oh. Holy Ghost, come and take control, one more time. I have come again, I have come, I have come again, oh. You need to tell him that you have come. Because he sees your heart. In Jeremiah chapter 17, let's read 12 and 13. Jeremiah chapter 17. You can give us in the amplified version. Jeremiah chapter 17. So that you know that you have not come. He said, let me paraphrase. Those who cast off their hope in him, he said they shall be ashamed. Those who cast off their faith in him, they shall be ashamed. That is my understanding of that scripture. So you have come to who? To see pastor? To see your friend after the service? So that you can discuss business? No, 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 no. We have come unto him. Look at it. He said, A glorious throne set on high from the beginning is the place of our sanctuary, the temple. Verse 13. O Lord, the hope of Israel. Ah! O Lord, our hope. That when we partake tonight, we shall be quickened. That when we partake tonight, sickness will disappear. Affliction will be dealt with. He said, O Lord, the hope of Israel. He said, all who abandon you shall be ashamed. Amen. Those who turn away on earth will be written down because they have abandoned the Lord, the fountain of living waters. So when you are saying, I have come again, you are saying it with revelation. I have not abandoned God. I have come to partake on the table on the table of the fountain of the living waters. I have come because I know his throne is forever settled. Ah, he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. That is our faith. So we are not coming to partake on the table because everybody is coming. We come by faith. 2 Corinthians 5, 7 says, we walk not by sight but by faith. I want you to pray. 
and say, Father. Ah. Is it people that are sitting down that are not talking? Say, Father. In the name of Jesus, let my faith connect to the throne above. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, let my faith connect. I have come. I have come. Let my faith connect to your throne that is already set from the beginning. Let my faith, let my faith, let my faith connect. It is by faith. It is by faith. If you come casually, you won't get anything. It is by faith. It is by faith. It is by faith. It is not by sight. What have you come to do? Have you come by faith? Now, I am announcing to you, this is the communion table. What are you connecting to? Ah, by faith I come. 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 I have not come to see any man. I have come to see my God. Help my faith. For without faith, it is impossible to please God. For without faith, it is impossible to see God. For without faith, it is possible to have an encounter with God. He is the rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. He is the rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. He is the rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. Oh Lord, you are the hope of Israel. We will not abandon you. We will not forsake you. Let our hope rise again in your power, in your glory, in your miracle signs and wonders. Let ayakata yakatu tetele promo sopri natushka. On to the Lord shall the guardian of these people be. I have come again to renew my strength. Enough of emptiness. Enough of frivolities. Enough of embracing on uh, mundane things. I come to you tonight. Quicken me, O oh Lord. Quicken me, O oh Lord. Shata ligadoska. Zumbrena lebromushanda. Embrembo bosa prenatuska. Lord, I have come. Lord, visit me. Yesterday is gone. Today I need you afresh. Yesterday is gone. Today I need you afresh. Encounter me, encounter my wife, encounter my children, encounter everyone in the name of Jesus. Lord, we exalt you, we magnify you. I am a Remashanta Ligadosh, Imbre Popo Soto Limbre Bodosh. Let your hand be mighty upon every one of us, online, on site. Let your hand be mighty upon every one of us. Papa Rabba Pashata Lagada, Prepo Popo Tete Legodosh Kedelegede, Imbraku Sente Legodosh. In Jesus' precious name, we are free. In Jesus' precious name, we are free. <laughs> Jesus said something in his word. He said, For without me, you can do nothing. John 15, verse 5. For without me, you are less than zero. Brethren, we are reminding ourselves of what Jesus said or what he did. Many of us, we go to the hospital. You complain to doctors. And by reason of their profession and their experiences, by reason of their education, they will tell you what to do. And we will do it 
dutifully and diligently. Because the doctor said, how much more the author of life? He said, whenever we gather, whenever we gather like this, he said, you do it in remembrance of me. Amen. So, I want you to pray. Jesus, I am here before the table in remembrance of your power, in remembrance of your glory, in remembrance of your victory. Reveal yourself to me. Reveal yourself to me. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. I am here. I'm not here for any reason. I'm here. Remember. I remember. Reveal yourself to me. For health, for deliverance, for breakthrough, for victory, for transformation, for new creature. New creation. Manta Parabashanta. Change my life. Change my life. Lord, change my life. Change my life. In Jesus' precious name, we are afraid. We are going to take that prayer point again. Give us John chapter 2, verse 11. Amplified. We are going to take that prayer point again. Now, after the wedding in Cana of Galilee, and Jesus, through the guidance of the mother and the help that flew from the mother to the party people, let me call it like that. The Bible says, this, the first of his signs, attesting miracles, Jesus did in Cana of Galilee. Now, look at it. And revealed his glory, displaying his deity and his great power openly. He revealed his glory. He manifested his power openly. And his disciples believed confidently in him as the Messiah they adhered to, they trusted in him, and they relied on him. Brethren, media, leave this scripture like this. I want you to pray that after this communion table, ah, the glory of the Lord will be revealed in my life. Openly, openly, openly. The miracle, signs, and wonders, because I believe my belief system will be quickened that from this moment, the glory and the power of the Lord will be revealed in my life. Let there be a quickening, a quickening that will be openly, openly. You don't need to tell people that you are a Christian because the power of the Lord will begin to manifest in your life openly, openly. Ah, open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. I don't want to be empty. Empty of your glory. This is the beginning of a new dawn. This is the beginning of a new beginning in my life. Ah, there shall be attesting signs. There shall be miracle. There shall be revelation of his glory. There shall be revelation of his power. There shall be revelation of his beauty. There shall be revelation of his glory. There shall be revelation of his power. I don't want to be empty. I don't want to be empty. There shall be revelation of his power, of his beauty in my life openly as I believe him. Lord, Ayabaraba, I begin to adhere to his word. I begin to trust him. I begin to rely on him. I begin to trust him. I begin to rely on him. I begin to trust him. 
I begin to rely on him. I begin to trust him. I begin to depend on him like never before. I begin to rely on him. Oh Jesus, I have promised to serve you to the end. Oh Jesus, I have promised to follow you to the end. Be my master, be my guide. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are free. And the Bible says, and his disciples believed him. Confidently believed in him. They trusted him. They adhered to him. They relied on him. I want you to pray and say, Father, as I partake on this table today, I will rely on Jesus. I will trust in Jesus. I will depend in him, on him all the days of my life. Lord, let there be a turning point. Let there be a turning point in the name of Jesus. Let there be a turning point. Let there be a turning point. I meet Jesus today. I meet Jesus today. I meet Jesus today. I meet Jesus today. Meet Jesus today. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' precious name we are praying. Amen. Some of us that have visited Sangomas, that have visited Abalis, spiritists in our lives in the past there was a time that you never had the thought of doing so but somebody somewhere entered your life introduced somebody somebody to you and that marks the beginning of your downfall that marks the beginning of your negative vibes all over but there was a time it was not like that take this prayer point again and say, Jesus, as I partake on this table, let there be a turning point that I will adhere to you, I will trust in you, I will rely on you all the days of my life, all the days of my life. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. I, I meet Jesus today. As I partake on the table, I meet Jesus today. I meet Jesus today. As I partake on this table, I meet Jesus to trust him, to rely on him. I meet Jesus today to trust him, to rely on him. I meet Jesus today to trust him, to obey him, to trust him. In Jesus' precious name, we are free. Not only that you will trust him, not only that you will rely on him, God wants to make you the arrowhead that many will follow Jesus through you. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me show you something. Let's go to the book of Luke chapter 22. 31 and 32. Luke chapter 22. Luke chapter 22, 20, 31 and 32. We will read if you have New Living Translation or Amplified or contemporary English. I want to show you something there. That's why your faith, your confidence in God is very important. You want to go and sit? Go and sit. This way that you are looking at me like that. Go and sit. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord is your strength. One day we will pray for 12 hours standing. Amen. All right. Simon. Simon. Simon means shaky, shaky. Amen. Simon. Simon. Satan has asked to sift each of you. You know, many times we thought he was talking to Simon alone. 
I will read, I can read two or three more versions. Simon, Simon, Satan has asked to sift each of you, each of you, like wheat. Yes? But I have pleaded in prayer for you. That you is plural. Simon, comma, I have pleaded in prayer for you, in plural. You know what I said? Simon, you are the arrowhead, comma, that your faith, singular, your faith should not fail. So when you, singular, have repented and turned to me again, strengthen your brothers. As I've always said, many of us, God is raising your head to deliver your family. God has appointed you as the arrowhead to help your community. God, that's why you must not joke with your spiritual life. God is looking for arrowhead. He's looking for arrowhead. He's looking for arrowhead. Give us the amplified. I think the one that said all of you, Satan wants to test all of you, to sift all of you. Amplified. Simon, Simon, Peter. Satan has demanded permission to sift all of you, all of you. And verse 32, he said, but I need one of you to catch fire. Like in the day of Samson, that he put fire on the tail of the force of forces and connected them. He said, I am looking for one person. He said, but I, look at, but I have prayed especially for you, Peter. This time, Peter, you are not supposed to shake. You are a rock. My prayer will empower you not to shake. Are you seeing something here? He says, Simon, Simon, you shake. But when I pray for you, you become Peter. Don't shake. Go back to verse 32. That your faith and confidence in me may not fail. And you, once you have turned back again to me, strengthen and support your brothers in the faith. Brethren, what do you see in yourself? Do you see yourself as the arrowhead in your family? Do you see yourself as the arrowhead in your family? Do you see yourself as the arrowhead in that department? Do you see yourself as the arrowhead in the church? Do you see your head being lifted above all your contemporaries? Then pray this prayer. And say, Father, distinguish me. Ah, hey, the way you are praying. <laughs> say, Father, touch my head and distinguish me. In the name of Jesus Christ. My faith will not fail. My faith will not fail. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, pray. When faith fail, destiny fail. When marriage fail, and faith does not fail, there is hope. When business fail, and faith does not fail, there is hope. When situation fail, and there is still faith, there is hope. Lord, distinguish my head. Distinguish my head. Distinguish my head. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. As I mentioned, eight, I remember what God told me that we should pray for. We want to pray against the effect of any incision on the head. Especially, now, note, especially those incisions that they took part of your skin. You know, some incision, they would just do incision, pa, 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 they would rub something. But some incision, why they were doing the incision, that is what God showed me. Why they were doing the incision on the head, they removed some skin layers and put on altars. Especially 
especially if you have tribal marks, all those things they remove, they put them on altars. He said, we should pray. They cut it with knife or blade. They will cut certain part of the skin. It's not an ordinary incision. I want you to pray. And say, by the covenant of the blood of Jesus, I cancel now every negative effect of demonic incision upon my head. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. I cancel every negative effect of satanic and demonic incision on my head, on my body. Let the blood of Jesus better covenant. Let the blood of Jesus better covenant. Rapa papa shata yakata. Zimpre popo posotosh. Impra koto tete lega je. Impre koto sekada. Impra koto sete lega de. Impra papa yagala. Open my house of understanding. Open my house of understanding. In the name of Jesus. Shata laga daga daba. Repre popo popo posete lega de. Impra kapa raba baba. Impra koto sete lega de. Impra posha gede brobo shende lega de. Impre popo popo sete lega de. Ori matata laga daga raba bodosha. Imbra popo popo se telegade. Imbra kapara baba yaga ligadosha. Every satanic hand that have been placed upon my head. Wida. Anamashata yagada yagada. I render you impotent. I render your oppression useless. In my life. Useless. In my life. My head. Receive deliverance. My head. Receive deliverance. My head. Receive deliverance. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. As I'm praying that prayer, I remember what happened recently. You know, when, when we just say, the Lord says something. Personally, I don't even look back. By His grace, by his grace, I've been um, engraced not to say what he did not say. <laughs> not too long, the Lord opened my eyes to see a road rage, a road rage, where a truck was dropping something on somebody's car, and I saw that there was a pursuit. And uh, I said, the way I saw it, I did not see that that thing will end well. And I said, it's a warning. Whatever happened in this season, <laughs> be careful. No fight back. Just move away. Amen. Someone called me. Maybe the person is listening now. <laughs> of what happened. And maybe because of the value of his own car, he fought back. He broke somebody's, you know, he was trying to retaliate. Thank God his friend was with him. He said, stop now. Did you remember what pastor said on Sunday? That was where he done on. Even he did not remember when he was trying to do what he wanted to do. But thank God for his friend that said, stop now. Don't do anything now. He said he was ready to do fire for fire. Thank God for his friend. I want you to pray this prayer. This one. I saw it this morning, clearly. That every part of your head, whether hair or skin of your forehead or skin that have been taken away and put on satanic altar, I render that oppression impotent, useless. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. part of my body make an extension to any part of your body through incision 
through satanic mark of dedication that have been taken to the altar of darkness. I stand by the blood of Jesus. My head receive deliverance. My head receive healings. My head receive deliverance. My head receive healings. My head receive deliverance. Pray. My head reject abomination. My head reject evil hand. My head reject abomination. Reject evil dedication. Reject evil altar. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are friends. In Jesus' name we are friends. He said, Simon, Simon, I have prayed that your faith will be strong. I'm sure you don't know that it is a prayer point that your faith will not be weak, will not be in vain, and that your faith will not fail. You don't know it's a prayer point. That you pray for yourself every day, Lord, my faith will not fail. Because you can't get anything. You can't walk with the Lord. You can't assess your inheritance if you don't have faith. I'm telling you. That's why James 1, 5 to 8 says, Let him that doubted never think that he's going to receive anything from the Lord. Don't let him think he will receive anything from the Lord. And I don't know why you come to church. I don't know why you pray when you don't have faith to receive from the Lord. I want you to pray and say, Father, I stand here today as I partake on this table. My faith in you will not fail. Pray, pray, pray. If truly you are a child of God, you are a believer. You are a child of God. You are a believer. Lord, my faith in you will not fail. My faith in you will not fail. In the name of Jesus, my faith in you will not fail. My faith in you will not fail. God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, Jehovah, you are God. Let not my faith fail. I believe in you. Yes, I believe. Let not my faith fail. Let not my faith fail. Let not my faith fail. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Psalm 56, 8 to 9. Psalm 56, 8 to 9. Amplified. He said, you have my account. You have taken account of my wanderings. You have put my tears in your bottle. Are they not recorded in your book? Then my enemies will turn back in the day when I call. This I know that God is for me. Hallelujah. All your wanderings, all your struggles, all your doubts, he knows them. All your tears, he knows them. He said, but when I call, my enemy shall turn back. They shall turn back. I want you to pray. And say, Father, tonight, hear my cry. Tonight, listen to my petition. And let every enemy of my soul begin to turn back in the revelation of your power, in the revelation of your glory, in the name of Jesus Christ. I judge every form of cancer. Amba Shakaba. Cancer. 
I judge in the name of Jesus. Mambaraba Shatali Gadosh. Ripra Popo Setele Godosha. I judge stagnation. Every enemy of stagnation. Every enemy of retrogression. They want to establish stagnation, retardation, retrogression into my life. When I call upon the Lord tonight, as I partake on the table, let them turn back. 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 I call upon the name of the Lord who have an account of my wanderings, who have an account of my fear and doubt. When I call upon him, all my enemies shall turn back. My faith looks up to thee, thou lamp of Calvary, Savior divine. Hear me when I cry. Hear me when I cry. Hear me when I cry. My Savior, when I cry, let every enemy of my soul turn back. Let them turn back. Let every enemy of my soul turn back. In the name of Jesus. Let every enemy of my soul turn back. Let every enemy of my soul turn back. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we are afraid. In Jesus' name, we are afraid. In that scripture that we read before, Jeremiah 17, 12 and 13, he said, God of Israel, my hope is in you. One thing that will make one and his faith to fail is hopelessness. Is hopelessness. That's verse 13. You can give us. It's hopelessness. He said, Oh Lord, the hope of Pastor Ono is my hope. The reason why many are turning away from the Lord, the reason why many they abandon the Lord and seek their own ways. Ah, where is that in the scripture? that makes their faith to be weak and they begin to believe in their own brain, opinions, is because they have lost hope. I will show you a scripture that will stop. Because they have lost hope in God. Two more prayer points. Say, Father, every arrow of hopelessness every arrow of faithlessness. As I partake on this table today, let them be purged out of my life. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of hopelessness, faithlessness, that wants me to believe in logic, that wants me to believe in men than God, that wants me to be using my sight and my brain. That arrow be flushed out of my life. Let my faith in God be restored. Let my faith in the victory of the cross be restored. Hopelessness is not my portion. Sister, don't give up on God. Don't seek your own alternative route. Don't seek other option than Jesus and his kingdom. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we are praying. Finally, Romans 14, verse 1. You can give us Amplified. We will pray for yourself. 
then you will pray for somebody in the church. He said, as for the one whose faith is weak, as for the one whose faith is weak, accept him into your fellowship. He needs you. You need him. As we have said, there are people that are strong in faith. There are people that are weak in faith. He said, but as for the one whose faith is weak, accept him into your fellowship, but not for the purpose of quarreling over his opinions. In other words, those ones that are weak in faith, they are loaded with their own opinions. They bring forth quarreling and argument because they are loaded with their logic, reasoning, and medulla oblongata oppression. They are in the church. Did the Bible say we should send them away? No, it said accept them. Accept them. Say, not, not, not for the purpose of quarreling over his opinions. We are not to run our Christian race with our opinions. No. In the world, they say oh, his opinion counts. But when it comes to the word of God, it's a regimented life. It is either you believe it or you leave it. And they welcome them. So I want you to pray. I don't know your level of uh, the, the tank of your opinions. You know many people, they are in church, but they have different opinions. Let me tell you, I counsel you, lay those opinions to the authority of the word of God. This is the final habitat. This is the, ah, where is it in the Bible? I think it's in the book of Job. When Job said, though he slay me, but at the end of the day, he will still have the final say, by my own interpretation, by my interpretation. He will still have the final say. I will show you if I have time. I want you to pray. Aha. 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 Even though he kills me, eh? Even though he kills me, I will open him. Why? Whether he kills me or not, I still have open him. His final judgment, I will see benefit from it. <laughs> Amen. This is somebody going through trials of life. Oh. He said, even though he's the one that kills me, if, even in death, I hope in him. Nevertheless, I will argue my ways to his face. I want you to pray. Please pray. Every argument in my heart, every opinion in my heart, every contention in my heart, against faith in Christ Jesus, I lay it on this altar. I lay it on this altar. I lay it on this altar. He has the final say. I will argue. Uh -uh. At me, I will not argue. I lay down my argument. I lay down my opposition. I lay down my contention. I lay down my doubt. I will hope in him. I will hope in him. I will hope in him. No matter what men say, no matter the judgment, no matter the characteristics of their behavior, I will open him. I will open him. Job said, even if he's the one that wants to kill me, he will have the final say. Though I may be given opportunity to express myself, but that doesn't mean he will not have the final say. Thank you, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we are praying.
I want you to pray for somebody in the church. You know, the Bible says we must accept them, welcome them. Though they are weak in faith, they are loaded with opinions. He said, welcome them. Welcome them. I want us to pray. As many that are weak in faith in this church, let them have an encounter with Jesus tonight. Let them begin to walk in faith, not by sight. Let them begin to walk in faith, not by sight. Open your mouth and pray. Pray for somebody. Pray for somebody. As many that their faith is shaking, let them begin to walk in faith and not by sight. Some people, they are still using their brain to calculate Jesus. They are still using their logics and reasoning to reason out Jesus. They don't know. It takes faith. Faith. Ah! Oh my God. In Jesus' name we are praying. You know, we sing that song, Abraham, blessings am I. Amen. But before Abraham got to that place, it takes the workings of faith. Hello? Whether you like it or not, it is recorded that Abraham eh, was strong in faith. Where is it in the Bible? Romans chapter 4. Romans chapter 4. Verse 19. You can give us... Okay. Look at... We want to pray. This is the last one now. Somebody say last one now. Are you tired of praying? If you don't say it now, we're standing to... <laughs> Amen. But... Are, are you praying for me? I'm praying for yourself. Oh. But we must pray with understanding. Without becoming weak in faith, he considered his own body now as good as dead for producing children. Since he was about a hundred years old and he considered the deadness of Sarah's womb Verse 20. This one says, without becoming what? Weak in faith. But he did not doubt or waver in unbelief concerning the promise of God. But what happened? He grew strong and empowered by faith, giving glory to God. That is our last prayer point. And say, Father, as I partake on this table, let my faith grow. Let me be empowered by faith tonight. Pray in the name of Jesus. Oh
serve you till the Receive from the Lord that which I also delivered to you that the Lord Jesus, on the same night in which he was betrayed, he took bread and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Therefore, whoever eat this bread and, or drink this cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat and drink of the cup. For he would eat and drink in an unworthy manner, eat and drink damnation or judgment to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this reason, many are weak, many are sick, and even many are asleep. For if we will judge ourselves, we will not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened by the Lord that we may not be condemned with the world. Shall we please stand? You are free to partake by faith. Don't look at wafers. Look at the blood of Jesus. Look at the flesh of Jesus. And connect your heart. It is by faith. It is by faith. There are laws of life that you don't see and they are operational. There are laws of life that you don't see, and they are operational. You don't doubt it. Whatsoever you throw up must come down. Do you see the law operating? No. So believe in the law of the Lord that established this ordinance for your healing, for your establishment, for your growth, for your transformation, for your quickening. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Partake only, only in the flesh. Then we will now take the other one together. No one from the if thou will be my God, no wonder.
stand before you this evening. You are our friend. You are our king. You are our redeemer. Openly manifest and reveal your glory as we have read today in John 2 11 that from this moment, we begin to believe you, we begin to trust in you, depend on you. In whatever situation we find ourselves, that you will not be out of our equations, in Jesus' name. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood, this do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Shall we please stand? If you are online, kindly stand as we take the blood together. Because our Lord and Savior Jesus is the same yesterday, is the same today, is the same forever. Let John 2 11 and Acts 2 22 be real in our lives, in our families in our communities, in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Jesus Christ. He is my friend. He is my king. He's my friend. He is my king. He is my Acts chapter 6, verse 7. 
Acts chapter 6, verse 7. Then the word of God spread, and the number of the disciples multiplied greatly in Jerusalem, and a great many of the priests were obedient to the faith. I want us to pray for heaven's gates, that this word will begin to find fulfillment. I mean, I'm giving you three scriptures to go and meditate on. Number one, John 2, 11. Number two, Acts of Apostles, chapter 2, verse 22. Then add this one to it. Please pray for heaven's gate that our blessing will be unstoppable. Amen. Hallelujah. Shall we read it together? One, two, go. Then the word of God spread, and the number of the disciples multiplied greatly in heaven's gates. And a great many of the priests were obedient. Amen. If you are born again, you are a priest, but you will not struggle to obey the Lord in Jesus' name. Say, Father, let this word begin to find fulfillment in the redeemed Christian church of God in this land, especially in heaven's gates. Pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, this scripture, we decree it, we enforce it, we establish it over this church. We enforce it, we establish it over children, over men, over women. We enforce this scripture that the word of God will spread in this land. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Eternal Rock of Ages, we thank you. Thank you for bringing us to be quickened. Thank you for giving us this grace to draw from you. Please, let our lives never remain the same in Jesus' name. Everything that you have done tonight, we seal in the blood of Jesus. Lord, that by the time we will meet again, let our joy be fuller than this. Lord, we decree healing and health, deliverance, emancipation, strength, dominion, capacity building. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be illumination. And above all, let there be faith. And our faith will not fail. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Let's give Jesus a big hand of praise. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please be seated. Congratulations for that which God has done in your life. It's permanent in Jesus' name. The ushers will help us with our offerings tonight as we go. Go back. These prayers we have prayed is a good resource for you to pray. To pray more. Pray it into your life. And Jesus we answer you speedily beyond your efforts in Jesus' name. This coming Saturday, we want to encourage all of us as we set out for Light Up in Peru. When you go out, as we, we, we were taught extensively on Sunday, you provoke the backings of heaven. Our preacher taught us on Sunday, there are some things you don't need prayer or asking, asking, Lord, do for me. There are some things that will begin to automatically manifest as you step out for Jesus. God bless everyone that have brought one item or the other. It's encouraging so that we can share, so that it can lighten the heart of men. It can soften the heart of men.
to believe in the Jesus that you preach. And as we all come out, the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Sunday is our family Sunday. We will not stop talking about marriage, family, life, because it's key to the spread of the gospel. Many of the troublesome communities that we have, they are from children from dysfunctional homes. And we thank God that God has blessed us with marriages, homes in heaven's gates. But we must not keep quiet because there are still many outside there that must come and be established. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Invite someone to church and Jesus will reward you in Jesus' name. Shall we please stand? Father, we thank you for these offerings. We thank you because you are good. We thank you because you are kind to us. May your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' precious name, we are prayed. Amen. Let your hand be mighty upon our finances in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Tomorrow, 10 p.m., there will be youth fellowship online. Invite your friends, be part of it. Then on Sunday, 4.30 p.m., there will be physical meeting. As you'll be part of it, the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. How many days to the anniversary? Ask your neighbor. Eh? 12 days. You don't even know. Do you know we met somebody in Ashwood yesterday? He's not even, she's not coming to church. He said, hey, pastor, why you? I said, fine. Hmm. She's speaking my language. He said, I said, what is that? He said, ah, we are waiting 13 days to go. Eh? <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> so even you, you don't know. Outside that, they know. Ah, God have mercy. It shall come to pass in Jesus' name. The Lord will keep all of us. And the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Don't forget the message of our chairman. Go and see the finance committee. And the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Uh, it shall be glorious in Jesus' name. Will you ask your neighbor, say, neighbor, how far now? Have you done something? <laughs> the Lord be with you in the name of Jesus. God bless you. I release you now in victory. I release you in dominion. Every form of body pain disappear in Jesus' name. Every form of affliction in your body disappear in the name of Jesus. Have an encounter with Jesus tonight in Jesus' name. I cover you and your family in the blood of Jesus. All of you on site, online, the Lord preserve you by his blood in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we are praying. The grace in fellowship, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely his goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. And our portion is... Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. And there is a package of blessing. You will not miss your blessings in Jesus' name. God bless you. Go in peace and be preserved in Jesus' name.
Oh, oh, oh. 